I think it's scummy. Literally straight scum. It'd be dumb. It'd be stupid. It'd be a waste of an entire production. What was the other one? What was the other one that came out recently? Fucking Winnie the Pooh. The Winnie the Pooh and the honey murder or whatever the fuck that movie was. It was fucking dumb. That's retarded shit. That's like the liberal libtard type shit. That's what that's what I think is like the, the libtard type shit. When people think libtard shit, they think that kind of stuff. You know, that's like the Spencer's gifts of movies. You know what I mean? Wouldn't it be funny if Winnie the Pooh was a was a fucking psychopath killer? <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious, man. You know, that's the type of shit you'd see like gag in gag shops. You know what I mean? Like there would be a book, like, you know, and it's you can tell that it's satire, it's meant for adults. But it's a children's book. It's like this weird thing with liberals sometimes that they like, they want to take something that's meant for children and turn it into this perverted, like adult type thing. Why you got to do that? Why you got to do Winnie the Pooh like that? <laughs> Why'd you leave Pooh alone? You know, what do you ever do to you? You know, the same thing with Lovecraft, with this movie. Why you got to fuck with Lovecraft? We don't need, don't worry about my sensibilities, pal. And if you're going to go and you're not, if you don't plan on staying true to the source material, then leave the fucking thing alone. Let the man rest in peace. It says that's why suitable flesh reimagines. Oh, now they want to say reimagines. That's why suitable flesh reimagines the thing on the doorstep story, keeping the body swap terrors while removing. Lovecraft's controversial approach to female characters. He's sexist. <laughs> oh, the Whammons. Uh, there's still no release date for Suitable Flesh, uh, but since RL. J.E. Films just snatched distribution rights. Uh, we'll probably get a theatrical release later this year. And after that, the movie will also stream on Shudder. So there you go. A little, if you guys are interested in checking out that film once it comes out and see uh, how much they fucked up. How badly they fucked up as far as that goes. Sorry, I'm 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 heated. I'm heated. I'm a little bit heated. I'm hot around the collar. I'll admit, I'm a little bit hot around the collar. Uh, that shit pisses me off. It really does, because it's like just come up with your own shit. Come up with your own idea. You don't need. I hate it too, because it's like, and and they're the same type of people. The same type of people that would say, "Oh, these white men are problematic. These white men are supreme assists." Okay, then why are you trying to cash in off their legacy then? If they're so problematic. Apparently, they must have been doing something right. Hmm? Why don't you leave them alone? Why don't you come up with your own ideas, huh? If you're so friggin' smart. <laughs> you know, why you got to come after Whitey? <laughs> You know, come up with your own ideas. You know, you can't pay homage out of one side of your mouth and then the other side of your mouth, you're talking shit. Because that's exactly what you're doing. And I ain't going to stand for it. Let me check in with the comments before I have a thrombo. <laughs> One of these days, check it out. It's on YouTube. It's I know it's free on YouTube. You can listen to it if you want to put it on sometime. You just hear it. If you want to join on this conversation, that's my homework assignment. Listen to that. Put that story on. You tell me. Just hear it. Just hear it out. And just is there and keep in, in the back of your mind that there's some sort of controversial approach to female characters that Lovecraft is taking. I missed it. 
I I must have missed it. Honestly, I must have missed it. I don't remember there consciously remember there being I remember there was like maybe there was a comment. There mayor was like maybe one slight offhanded a comment in there somewhere where effectively he might have he may or may not have been more or less saying, you know, a woman had a bird brain. You know, women have bird brains. But hey, birds of a feather flock together as far as that goes. I'm not saying I'm not putting you all in the same flock. <laughs> you know, not all, not all, not all. <laughs> if Conan, if Conan was in the public domain, would you do some Conan fanfic? Are you saying you would, would you write some Conan fanfic? Please don't make them twinkle toes. For the love, uh, you know it's going to be a thing now. There's some libtard out there that's listening. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna emasculate Conan. Wouldn't that be awesome? <laughs> it's their hero, you guys. Let's let's emasculate their hero. Let's make him a let's let's make him a flamer. Yeah, and he'll have a flaming sword too. That'd be cool. <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> Fucking pisses me off. Hate this shit. Do I, does anyone have original ideas anymore? Does anyone? I know you're NPCs, but good Lord. Exercise your damn imagination once in a while. Flex it. You got to work out. It's like a muscle. You gotta, you gotta think. Don't just, don't just go dipping into history just willy nilly, just because you can legally, and start fucking with shit. That ain't canon, because then people are gonna, be, people could look back. People are, if, you know, if from the future might look back and be like, okay, well, no, what, what did this shit is canon? What is canon? What's not canon? As far as that goes. Oh, this is a spoof. Why is Winnie the Pooh killing people? <laughs> Christopher Robin, no! 